guys, it's me again with a new I Am Fun Size for you, the first one of 2018, woohoo! Um, coming in a little bit slow with this first one, I am aware, but um, my reason for doing so is actually part of what I'm going to talk to you about today in today's I Am Fun Size. Um, I have a lot of fun things planned for us this year, and one of the things I want to make sure to do is uh, share with you guys things that I am learning as I am learning them, or as I'm figuring them out, or figuring out different ways to deal with them, because Again, life is this ongoing study. It's an ongoing journey. You don't stop figuring things out until you're not here anymore. It doesn't matter how old or wise or how much experience you have. There's always new stuff to figure out about yourself and about the world. So, on that note, I would like to talk to you about burnout and resolutions and getting things done. And here is my story. So, at the end of last year, I found myself so excited about all of the things that I had gotten to do over the course of the year and at the same time so on fire about all of the things that I wanted to do, needed to do, had to do coming up in 2018 that I couldn't stop my own brain. I realized that I was expending more energy by just constantly thinking about things and worrying about things and worrying about how I was going to get all everything done that I developed a, what I like to call a case of the I don't want us. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And it started to affect me, including things that were fun and enjoyable and things that I had scheduled that, that should by any right be something that I did want to do. For some reason, it all was lumped together in this sense of, well, I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to do this and I have to do that. And what I ended up driving myself to was I got sick twice in a month. So for two separate weeks, I was just down with the crud. Um, I was tired all the time. I, I, I was I was still my, my sort of happy self, but I just didn't understand why I was expending all of this energy and all of this worry. And then, uh, during week number two of being sick, which was uh, actually about a week ago, um, I remembered something that one of my dear, dear friends says. So credit for this goes out to my dear friend Catherine, who is arguably one of the most loving human beings on the planet. Catherine will often go up to someone and say, so what do you get to do today? Not what do you have to do, not what are you doing, not, what, uh, not what's on your schedule, not anything like that. What do you get to do today? And just the reframing of a question with that one word instead, what do you get to do as opposed to what do you have to do, what do you need to do, what are you doing, blah, 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 automatically sets your mind to motion to put it in a more positive light. And not just positive, but a, a, a light that makes you realize how special it is to be able to get to do certain things that we all kind of take for granted or we might take for granted. For example, um, I have to go to work. Well, I'm really lucky that I have a job or that I have things to do or that I have creative uh, efforts that I want to put forth into action and to fruition. Um, you know, if you say like, I have to work out, oh, that's a tough one for me, guys. Oh, I have to work out. Well, thank God that there you have a healthy body that works, that allows you to train it and to push it and to do something more than just sit on the bed and do nothing because there are so many people who don't have that health. Um, and I started to, as I was down for the count the second time, I started to really remember how it felt to look at everything like a get to do. Now, it may seem extreme because of course there are things in our days, certain chores, certain whatever, that don't feel like a get to do. But if you start to reframe them in that way, you realize that you can be in gratitude for almost anything that you need to do throughout the day, whether it's cleaning the house, being happy that you have a home or an apartment or a room that you have, um, that you have things that you want to keep nice, that you want to take care of. I, I want to clean my home because I want people to come and enjoy it. I enjoy having a clean home and I am not always, I know I'm quite often a messy person with tons of papers around, but I enjoy cleaning that up and having the, the fresh slate. And also, you can apply this, and this is another thing that I did at the beginning of the year, I took the time to do. You can apply this to whatever resolutions you may have made. I personally don't do New Year's resolutions because 
I don't know. I don't like the calendar telling me what I want to do. I can make my resolution in May. I can make my resolution tomorrow. It doesn't really matter. Um, I can make my resolution right now. I'm going to make a resolution not to make a resolution, whatever it is. But you can apply that to what is coming in the year rather than saying, what do I have to do this year? My New Year's resolution is to X, Y, Z. Sort of makes it feel like work. Sort of makes it feel like a chore rather than what do I get to do this year? You know what? I'm going to end this year in better shape than I've ever been in my life. I get to do that. I get to train that. I get to try for that. Um, I get to attempt this this thing at work or this thing with my family or whatever. I get to aspire to that. Um, so it doesn't just have to be I get to go on vacation or I get to go to this adventure or whatever. It can be I get to challenge myself. I get to find out if I can do X, Y, Z and surprise myself. Um, so. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Thank you, Catherine, with so much love and so much gratitude for her. I'm going to leave you guys with that and ask you if you are feeling frisky um, or if you are feeling like sharing, please share down in the comments or wherever something that you get to do and something that maybe you didn't feel like was a get to do until you reframed it and now you realize, oh, no, 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 it's, that's cool. That is kind of a get to do. Even if it's as simple as I get to clean my room because I haven't seen the floor in four years and pretty soon I'm going to get to see what it looks like and it's going to be amazing. Um, something like that, you know, whatever it is. Show me your victories. Oops, bet I am not victorious in holding that phone up. Um, show me your victories. Share your successes with me. Share your struggles, whatever you want. And don't forget to send me an email at Anjali at IamFunSize.com so I can answer your questions. And here is to a beautiful year of getting to do so many things and getting to surprise yourself on a daily basis. Okay, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Ooh, look at this fancy new end card with fancy places to find me. Well, I mean, the places to find me aren't so fancy, but find me. Send me messages. Send me questions. Uh, send me your art. Send me photos. Ooh, send me photos of doggies. Love the doggies. And, you know, if you like this, subscribe.